<laughs> G'day everyone, welcome to another Dr. Trotter video. Uh, we have, as you can see up there, Jiggly Dad, he's come to join us. And we're going to uh, go over um, a Prismatic Cup tournament that I have just run. It was with the uh, Bass or Brisbane and surrounding suburbs, I think is the Discord group it was in. So Brisbane, down south in Queensland, Australia, where I live. So Jiggly Dad, thank you so much for joining me and uh, I hope you have a good time. My pleasure. I yeah. I, I need to see if I can pick up some tips because uh, I, my first prismatic I did was not a pretty sight. And, uh, <laughs> were you I'm running? You about it. Were you running Talonflame and Hitmo like everybody else in the world? Or <laughs> I did not run Talonflame. I ran Crustal. And you know what? I, I think I may have actually done two prismatics because I think I did. I did Crustal both times. Yeah, and nice. uh, kind of regret it, but. Uh, you know, I I, swear, I go against the grain. I go against the grain. So may, yeah. maybe you'll show me what the power of Talonflame, even though it's been demonstrated to me from the other side plenty of times. It's uh, it's a little bit broken. Look, I, I honestly don't use Talonflame very much. I don't really like <laughs> it. It's kind of like that necessary evil. <laughs> right. Cool. So let's just jump straight into the battles because we've got about half hour of battles coming at you now. So we'll jump straight in and Jiggly and I, Dad and I are just going to talk some crap about it. So Evader, you can see the teams were fairly similar and we get Lantern into Pseudo Widow. This is Water Gun. This is terrible. And thank the Lord it's Spark, right? Because <laughs> Water Gun, this is, this is like probably an instant loss. And a questionable attempt to catch, Hypno comes out. Like, have, have that's, you... that's totally that's totally my style just making questionable catches and and i mean i this feels like a favorable matchup but the, you never know what uh punches the hypno is packing so it can be a little bit dicey but most of them don't uh oko the uh the Cradilli, so no and i mean look well, at the shadow know. ball not that much right like yeah. it's kind of surprising hey i think ice punch so stone doesn't resist ice Right, but stone does resist fire, so it, it's right. pretty that good. Hasn't, that hasn't been what what most people have been packing in this tournament, so uh, it it seems a little bit more playable of a matchup than it normally might be. Cordilly definitely good. What made you bring pseudo Wudo? Did you did you decide at the end you needed a counter user and that was was your slot you had left or? Oh what else? no no, pseudo Wudo is the man. Pseudo Wudo is like the number one pick for this team for sure wow i am all about the pseudo so again another question will do if we don't get this bait we lose <laughs> oh we yep. don't get the bait so i mean a hydro pump obviously ko's i i don't th even if it's a bait of a thunderbolt i think we have to shield but now i think we can go for the counter down from here so it it's it's not looking look how much energy we have and they bring in hypno so now we're oh. almost jiggly dad levels of energy <laughs> <laughs> so i guess the the pseudo wudo brings essentially a similar toolkit as a hitman top but it's not uh going to be having problems with the ever-present hypno is that part of your your thought process that a hitman top is not as good as it seems on paper because everybody's packing Hypno? Um, well, uh, Hypno is great against fighters and it's an okay generalist in this cup, but I don't know, Pseudo Wudo, like the, it's, it does, it beats most of the things that the fighters beat, but it can beat so many other things. Like it's basically, it's a rock, it's a rock throw <laughs> with counter. So like, I just think it's got a really unique place and the way I've been using it so far, it, it's worked really, really well. So we actually ended up winning that because it was Talonflame in the back and we had like a billion energy. So um, that was that so, was great. So you've, got, so you've got triple rock coverage with Tangrowth, Cradilly, and Pseudo Wudo. You're That's just correct. loaded for loaded for bear on the uh, Talonflame. Just... Loaded for yep. And the thing is with that as well, like the two Grass Pokemon. So obviously Pseudo Widow is going to be weak to other grasses and water and fighters. So the other grasses, like most people will be bringing a water Pokemon for the Pseudo Widow but, and Talonflame, but the, the double grass means that, yeah, you can almost ABB it if you wanted to and have your Pseudo covered by just a ton of grass and still have a ton of rock to just throw at everything else but the fighters. You've got to be careful of fighters. So you can see in this team, there's no fighter in Evader's team, so 
Um, yeah, the rock Pokemon are a little bit, little bit, you know, that cradle, cradley, cradily or cradily. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's a right way to say it. I think I say Cradilly, but, uh, you know, I think that uh, it, it might be one of those things you Aussies say differently. So I would hate to correct you and uh, oh, have it be a mate, I'm cultural sure. bit. Cultural, yeah, because <laughs> we're so culturally sensitive to everything. <laughs> All right, so we'll jump into match two. And, yeah, so even coming back from a bad lead, Lantern into Pseudo Widow. So we were able to turn that one around. And this time we get Skunk Tank into Lantern. And another, like, mm, this... It isn't great, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the right. best. Yeah, I, I guess I don't I don't think too much about these weird middling matchups with uh, Lantern. Lantern has definitely got some bulk to it, but mm. unless I am a flyer or a water, I'm not usually insta running from, from a lantern. I'm just kinda of pointing it out and hoping for the best. Yeah, and, and I think that's that's the thing. Like, you don't want to one of those middling matchups. You don't want to switch out and they just get hard countered. Right. <laughs> I, it's just not nice. And look, they threw. So now they they got a bit of extra energy, but they're not super close to a move. And I mean, Cradle is farming down. He's not really worried about any of the charge moves. A pump will still do a lot because of the rock typing. It'll be neutral. Um, but it, Cradle is surprisingly bulky. And he didn't get there, Thunderbolt. So look, we are at a full Grass Knot plus Upper Shield now. It's it's looking nice. Muck. I I have been a fan of Cradilly for some time, and uh, I it seems like it's become a lot more meta recently, and uh, it definitely does pack a lot more bulk than you expect. And you know, yeah, you can unload a, a Hydro Pump into a Cradilly, but honestly, I think a lot of people running a Lantern are, are still not fully aware of exactly what kind of damage they're going to do, so they might just be tempted to throw energy on a bolt anyway. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. But I think it was Jake Does Hurdles did like a 6 nil sweep of a... Was it last month or the month before? I can't remember a tournament. And yeah, I was just... Oof. I think it put it on the map. I mean, Steve Steve put it on the map. <laughs> Good friend, <laughs> but... Now, I think it's just one Earthquake, or maybe two Earthquakes now, because the counters will do six halves and nothing. Um, was, couldn't tell if that's lag, like these, these long moves, I don't know if that was lag or just really slow confusion, so Thunder Punch. Yeah, I, I remember before we were really good at, uh, everybody else more so than me, at uh, knowing exactly what was going on in these turns, like I always used to feel like Hypno was really slow, and I think that probably the difference between whether I would do well or not would be either whether I would over tap or, uh, yeah. or whether there was lag. So sometimes it's really difficult to tell the difference between the two uh, with a Hypno. Yeah, I felt really bad then because I feel like we did Evader a bit dirty there and um, <laughs> caught, caught, a, caught a move, which you know, probably didn't need to do for the win. Oh, right. I haven't edited this very well. So. Who knows what's going on here? There we go. All right. So we've won this round. So we'll just show the third one with Evader. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've noticed so far, but um, Grass and Pseudo Widow are feature, featuring quite heavily in at least in yeah. this first set of battles. Yeah, I was wondering if there was anything oh. you were actually afraid of seeing. I can't. Oh see. man, you can't. You can't see you can't. the the lantern, right? People who are like I count moves, count moves. Like I can't count moves. There, it's no way. I, kind of makes me wish that there were uh, alternate available camera angles, like you have in some games. I mean, these are supposed to be three D models, right? If you've got a Palkia mm. or a or a Tangrowth or or some of these big ones, you you need to have a different way to see what the heck is going on behind you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's useless otherwise. Oh, <laughs> oh, rock. <sighs> Feel like I should have gone for the earthquake. Rewatching these matches, it's always harder. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're now, we're, I guess we can shield this and farm down now and still be in a pretty nice spot. Because we've got two grass Pokemon, we know lanterns, one of those Pokemon in the back. If it's Talonflame, yeah, there's the lantern. Do we get to the EQ here? Or we get to the EQ? Okay. Alright. I'm pretty happy with my decision previously. <laughs> I feel like I would have wanted to bring that shiftry against you, uh, both kind of seeing what your team was built, how it was built with the double rocks, and 
seeing that you what you were playing. Uh, obviously, there were, there would be things like the Talon Flame it wouldn't want to see, but uh, oh, the Skunk Tank! I, I would have right, but I think I I think I would have really wanted to bring. Okay, there's the shift tree. It, it, I mean, it's and not the best place to have a shift tree with no shields, right? Right. <laughs> it's a little bit late, right? Yeah, you, you got to get that shift tree out there with. Uh, the ability to create shield pressure, not not just kind of hung out to dry. Yeah, I mean, create shield pressure is a great way of saying the ability to actually do something. Because right, right now we can't <laughs> do anything in that match exactly at all. Um, so yeah, we'll let this go. I could have shielded and then just got to the power whip, uh, but cradling will do that just fine. So actually went for the triple rock in this match that didn't matter just testing it out to see what would happen <laughs> i yeah it, when i actually have the rare occasion where i'm doing well in a tournament that's usually what i will do in the third match is kind of try out something i don't normally do and see how it fares on a uh in an actual competition or theoretical competition i guess you could say the other person may not be taking it as seriously if you're up to yeah stuff. exactly <laughs> anyway, so we've got match two now up against Tazza. Um, Tazza is actually a mod for my Twitch channel. Um, so thanks for doing all the hard work for me, Tazza. Does a lot of work on the Discord server too. And he's also does the TO stuff for the uh, Bass tournaments as well. So and the a Minin Minin. stands out there as a weird one. What, what do you think when you see that Minin? Do you think that it's actually going to see work? Or do you think that... Uh, I think that bring it in because... <laughs> Right. <laughs> Unless I'm bringing Talon Flame, it, 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 we're fine with the mining. I that yeah, that's I, I love mining. It's a it's a fun mon, but I've yet to see a meta in which it was really able to shine. Oh. So well, that that seems like a bit of a uh, a boat anchor there in the yellow position. There was one Sylph meta early was it early season two or late I remember season ferocious. One? I remember ferocious, ferocious that people yeah. would use it because supposedly it was one of the only things that could counter Umbreon, but when you looked at the finer details, you found out that you literally had to have, I think, a top three or four ranked Minin in order to win all the matchups it was supposed to win, and including that Umbreon matchup. And so some people ran the, um, the, the Minin thinking, oh, I'm gonna take out Umbreon, and then they realized that it was not as, as easy as that, and they'd already sunk all that dust into a, a mon that at the <laughs> time was very, very expensive before Excels were a thing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I still to this day IV check my mine and just on the odd chance that I need another high ranked one, I'll keep right. it. I'll have it ready. Right, exactly. Yeah, I think I've got a, a rank three I still haven't built, but uh, I, I hadn't even built one until then because I, I looked at it and I'm like, it doesn't even do the things a minion's supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's get this battle going. And let's see what we get. Tangrowth again. So you're not going to see the screen again. Um, there's no <laughs> counting moves. So all those people who actually count moves, you know, if you're using Tangrowth, you might need to think about your strategy a little bit, to be honest, because you're going to need to go off of time as well, like just the timing of things. I'm really bad at counting the moves, but I'm told that when you count them, you're supposed to count them as they land on your mind. So I think you can kind of see the... Uh, the the counters the land pool. at the top of yeah so if, if i were good at doing this i would i would instruct you on how to do that but i'm i'm decidedly yeah. the worst of counting i'm, well, I'm a time-based guy for sure i take an obi-wan kenobi and like just i just feel it you know <laughs> like yes you soul read exactly yeah yeah so muck are you gotta not love too that. much of a problem really yeah for this team anyway we do I mean, need Dark Pulse does, does a lot to just a, about anything, but like there's nothing that that it's threatening with super Oh, that's why we let it go. We have a ton of energy. <laughs> <laughs> and we have everything with rock, so that's the thing. Like who cares if Pseudo Widow goes down because you've still got like rock everywhere else. Now so. I've only used uh, I've only used Tangrowth in Ultra League where it has more bulk. Uh, how often have you actually used it in Great League, and is it something you, you like uh, to use, or this cup? Just kind of, yeah, this is, the first one. Okay. This is it. Yeah, yeah. I think I've had this one built. I think I might have used it in one or two uh, Great League things. Oh, and there's the mining. 
There it is. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing he's praying there's a talon flame in the back, but he's about to find out that that is not the case. Are we gonna get, we gonna get thunderbolted down? Looks like it. so we get at least it was a shiny. We get to see that it's a shiny after your ten growth gets out of the way. And they yeah. can pack grass knot, which I'm gonna assume he does. Okay. But so, look at oh, that. Wow. It's just that does because it it's not not stab and like yeah. we said, Cradilly just has more bulk than than you realize. Yeah, so we can tank plenty of that. Oh, and they tried to catch. <laughs> Which, I mean, is a great idea, but I, there's this weird thing in the game at the moment where just fast moves are just... They're, they're not right. <laughs> they're just not right, right at all. That's for sure. So, yes, beat Tazza. We saw the mining. I'm guessing the mining's getting benched now. He's seen double grass. <laughs> and now, look, this, look, this is probably the best place, apart from the Hypno, the best place for a muck to be, but... I've gone this right. triple rock strat again against this team because there's no counter users once again. Wow. And, like, so what beats the rock is Quagsire, but there's two grass Pokemon there, so... And once... The, the, the theory behind not switching out here is that he will have Talonflame in the back somewhere. And if Talonflame is in the back, like... Tangrowth doesn't resist the fast moves. The others, it'll be able to be resisted or neutral, with the Cradley being neutral and Pseudo Widow resisting. So that's why we're standing wow. here with this. Even so, even this yeah. is a Sludge Wave, which it is. You know, we're just getting energy now. And there's Lasudo. So this is interesting now, right? Right, because you've got the energy lead, but not by a lot, so there could be baiting involved, but you know that's a rock slide coming in. Yeah, originally I was like, oh, I'm close to two rock slides, it'll be okay, but we're really not. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to switch out straight away. So the counters will do a bit, he's not going to get to an EQ. This is just going to be a rock slide. Um, I guess we're at this point where we're we confident that even because even once uh, this is gone, pseudo has very little health. But if it's not getting counted, it might actually get to a second rock slide. So we're assuming right. Talon Flame is in the back. Oh, that's just a dark pulse. So it's not going to kill us, but this isn't looking great. I I'm pretty confident there's Talon Flame in the back, and we're going to lose this one now. Yeah, we needed to win that CMP tie. <laughs> yeah. And there's the town flame, so... Yeah. We, we're, we're going down. So the triple rock strat... Not... The triple rock strat, not enough to take out the bird. Not wow. enough. It was really the, the muck that caused us the big problems there, I felt. Very yeah. nice use of muck. And this, actually, no, it was the pseudo. The pseudo was definitely... We needed to get the tan growth on the pseudo, and we didn't. Now, this is just delightful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how we need much... the CMP tie. So how much does the second flame charge do if it actually gets through? Is it... Is um, it... It doesn't particularly matter, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, what? We shielded. Oh, we what am I doing? Right. Oh, and then they're in the pseudo. So this is where Tangrowth shines, right? This is just... Okay. You and... learn from the first one. Yeah. Because we've got Cradley. Cradley can take care of everything else in the team. Um, that, this is like the perfect lineup. So Rock Slide won't KO, but it'll give us and do enough that we can then just yeah two vine with KO. And I don't know if we can get to another Rock Slide. Although if it's Talon Flame, it might get close actually. This is the insanely slow incinerate. No, they've gone for the Muck, which means we get there as well. Now we've got the line. If we can line up whatever we want. We can go Cradley or Pseudo Widow into this Muck, and. Yeah, we go Cradley to keep the pseudo for the Talon Flame, right? That's probably the best lineup. I, I can't. Did I actually. Did I run Triple Rock for all three of these games against Taza? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but I guess we did it. Oh, an Insta Switch. I, uh, 
debatable. <laughs> Very debatable on my end here. Uh, hopefully we didn't touch it. We need it. Oh, no, we did. So this is going to KO if we hit all the... Oh, yeah. We tried to take a few off, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, that's great. We get oh, one counter. Yeah. Look at that. Calculated. Actually, a good play. Now, they only need two for the flame charge. So this should be a flame charge. I think Brave Bird would KO from here, even though it's resisted. Flame charge does not. But you're going to show me the next match, and you're not going to shield that first flame charge, right? Uh, I don't even know. Do we? <laughs> we'll find out if my next opponent even... If they're a Talon Flame person or not. They, they might actually be good, unlike me, who <laughs> brought Talon Flame to the every, every time. So, oh yes, it's time to stop. Time to stop. So very similar teams, Lantern and... Oh, this is crazy. That's right. This is obviously not good. So we switch out into Pseudo. And we're like, oh, he's not at a grab. What's he... What? That's Mirror Shot. Like, why would you throw Mirror Shot over a, um, a Power Whip there? I was very surprised. But I was like, sweet, I'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing they were assuming that you were going to be shielding that and they wanted to get something out of it, but uh, that's, the, that's the baiting game with these debuff moves. Mm. So, and they didn't shield the Earthquake, so we're, we're down a shield, but we're up switch now. Which is a nice place to be, except, <laughs> except Muck is a bit of a pain. Because we know they've got the um, Ferrothorn in the back. So we got to line up the Talon Flame against that Ferrothorn. Oh, we got the little guy who said he's finished all of his lunch. <laughs> he's finished. <laughs> he's finished. He's coming over. He's probably going to come over to say hello. All right, is this a Sludge Wave doesn't care for this point, does it, surely? Oh, it does. My goodness. It's nowhere near thick enough. Definitely not bulky. No. So he's actually oh, oh, good job. You keep watching the wiggles, buddy. <laughs> Oh, uh, welcome, welcome to the life that is dad life. Right, so look how much damage that one incinerate did. Right, and so you feel real good getting this first one. You know it's going to get shielded, but you only need one more in. Melt him. And you're like, well, if he's it's mirror shot again, or right, okay, so we got baited. We're like, oh, and look, we over. Oh, we have oh. no. I think we go for it because their muck's probably out of move. And it's a thunder! Oh, so they don't, they're not even packing a grass move. Holy they're God, running that, thunder that mirror shot. That changed it you even a second time. <laughs> everything. I was not ready for that. I was like, sweet, we'll oh. just farm it down. Even if he gets to another move, we're fine. Good job, mate. Good job. <laughs> there you go. Hi. What's going on, bud? What's up? The wiggles over? They're you, already over? Do you want more wiggles? No. Yeah. Okay, I'll go get you some more wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, so a massive surprise there in that move set. We had a little little hiccup with the little guy, so we'll uh, jump into battle two now. Now we know the move set, so can we play around it? Oh, oh, isn't this divine? This is and just now what. Did you see the Hypno in the first round? I'm trying to, to remember. In the no. first battle, you, you didn't see it. So this part, we don't know. We don't know what it's packing 100%. If you guess there's a Shadow Ball, maybe a Fire Punch. I was but honestly yeah, expecting punch. Shiftry, because there's no fighter. So Hypno doesn't have a lot of play. Right. And I wonder what they were thinking with Hypno. I guess if it had Thunder Punch for Tal and Flame, sort of. But that's... That's kind of kind of strange. I'm thinking it's a double punch hypno. So it's probably got like he's happy to show the thunder punch. Doesn't want to show the other one. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. push shields and here we go. Right, right. Now we know what we're doing, Jiggly. We know there's a thunder. <laughs> we know there's a mirror shot. Thunder doesn't actually KO. Non-stab thunder does a lot. Right. And we they got it in a free free bullet seed there but once this is powered up if they shield we can just single shield and take it out as well so and have a heap of energy 
So Lantern Farm down, which is pretty quick. We've got Tan Growth in the back. We've still got that Skunk Tank for that like almost dead Hypno with no energy as well. We got him. We got the Ferrothorn. Screw you, Ferrothorn. <laughs> And I'm trying to think if I were them, if I would have wanted to keep that Feral Thorn alive or not. I mean, they got the Thunder through, and... But they can't Bullet Seed that, down, even from that HP. Right, they couldn't Bullet Seed down, but they could make you shield a Mirror Shot, and the, the Lantern is going to be more than happy to, to meet that thing. So I wonder, wonder what the thought process was. I don't know. I mean, no. you're. I mean, they, I think they just hope I don't have the Tangrowth in the back, right? Yeah. That's just what you have to hope for. So, <clears throat> got it back. Got it back. We're one-one in the third round. We're up to round three now. Um, so yeah, I've never battled. It's time to stop before. Now this is interesting. So now we know they've only got um, mirror shot. So, right. they so can't one hit KO us with a power whip. A little bit. It's super effective, but it's like. Oh, oh debuff. Weak, very weak move. So, we'll go for the baitage here, because we've got to get something positive out of this battle. <laughs> now, Mirror Shot won't KO, though, so I think we can. Oh, we do shield. Dr. Trotter, what are you doing? Wasting shields here. <laughs> Does anyone else have a problem re-watching their own battles going, man, you're an idiot. And Rock Slide oh, won't I... take out. Do we count it out? Oh, wow, they're at another mirror shot. Okay, all right. My gosh. And now we go down. So we are down to shield. And I guess we're just going to farm up a bit of energy here and hope we can fight back. I mean, with a... It's it's not. We I mean we're realistically we're banking on a lantern plus some sort of neutral-ish matchup, and they've got muck. Hmm. So you don't really you don't really want to switch and clear the debuff, but I mean I guess the Cordelia will take a hit from the muck better. Um, well, Dark Pulse will be about the same. It's just if you catch the sludge wave. Yeah. So I think we're hoping for a bait. And that's that's pretty good. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Because <laughs> this extra rock slide completely makes or breaks whether we're going to win or lose this game. Oh, and an insta switch into lantern. So they've locked themselves oh, into lantern the now. Bridge. And it Both is a water gun lantern, though. Oh, okay. So water gun's neutral now, right? Right. But it takes so much longer. They're not surely... They're right. no shield. So, like, why do they no shield? They, are they going for the pump? I don't... Because they're not going to get to... Any, they don't want any part of that matchup. But yeah, if they could get the pump, that would be the most that they could get out of it. Yeah, but now we can farm down and have two Grass Knots for that muck. Who's not at any energy and is at, like, two HP. So I think if they, those... they stay in there... They, I don't know. What I'm saying I'm not saying they win, but they got a much better chance. Right. It's one of those insta switches that you can kind of see coming. That both sides really should be insta switching there, but at the same time, the the lantern is once they see that in the one shield, they're they're not feeling good about it. Yeah. Now, if it's Talon playing, that's a whole other story. <laughs> <laughs> now we're up against Yanni, who's a um, very highly ranked battler, um, or highly esteemed GBL player, I should say. Um, hangs out in, uh, I think that one darn guy spends a bit of time there, in his uh, Discord, not too sure. Mm -hmm. Have you come across Yanni before? I, I know the name, but I, uh, I mean, there's so many names anymore that I, <laughs> I can't say that I know, I know anything about Yanni. Uh, I see that he's got a Munchlax. I do love the Munchlax, but I'm I'm trying to think exactly what role it plays in this meta. Um, I guess it can, can lick, try and lick down a, a Hypno? <laughs> yeah, so I think Munchlax and Snorlax, they're both primarily sort of, yeah, those Hypno counters. Um, and then just sort of generalists with the Body Slam spam. Right. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. The interesting thing I thought in this team was the Gliscor. Yeah. Gliscor, one of those mons that is, it's very, it does pressure shields and it is kind of scary to face, but I always feel like it's so dependent on those those buffs that I'm not a huge fan of running it, but but there are times where you look at it and it really does fill some some very unique matchups in terms of, of having that, that flying ground and, and just being able to to win matchups that people are not expecting it. Yeah, plus the moveset, so it can be that wing attack or fury cutter. Now you're assuming right. earthquake, you're assuming night slash as a standard moves, but yeah, I mean fast move can change it up a little bit as well. Okay. Right. Let us jump in and see how we go. Do we run the triple rock? No, oh, we got a skunk tank. Gliscor, <laughs> oi. Now, fortunately, Gliscor is not a dark type, even though it throws those night slashes. So Crunch is actually neutral here. Obviously, right. we we insta die to an EQ though. <laughs> it's like, and you can, and this is wing attack, right? Because it's not super effective. So we go to Cratch just in case it's an EQ and it's a night slash. Oh, yeah, one matchup you don't want to see. Yeah, this one's bad. Probably I mean, it's still neutral though, right? So these power whips are still neutral. Because of the grass, right. even though the rock, so Stone Edge will be neutral as well. But it's got stab too, so look at that. Boom. Big hit. Um Gotta let this go and then just I'm guessing we come back in the skunk tank and just poison jab it down and get some energy and then pray pseudo can do the rest for us. <laughs> in the Wudo we trust. Did you did you find anything in this cup with the uh, not being able to use shadows where you you felt like you were using something you'd normally use as a shadow and you, you missed the the benefit because I know that I tend to lean on a shadow scum tank when I actually do use it anymore because it can do that extra damage with the poison jab but uh, I, don't I don't use shadows <laughs> so I'm loving not, it because I, I I very rarely if ever. Um, so I quite love the fact that there's no shadows in this uh, cup. Oh, it's and there's boy. the Licky Boy. Oh, man. And look at this. Here's, this is where Pseudo comes in, like, <laughs> so good. Because, yes, Bulldozer's obviously risque. But those counters is, add if, up. If he's a GBL guy, I'm surprised he hasn't top left it yet. This is, uh, <laughs> this is definitely one of those matchups where you're just like, okay. Jeez. Yeah. So sillily here, I decided to no shield I'm like as a body slam, and it was. <laughs> so I could actually count. Thank goodness. <laughs> like, ah, it's way too early. <laughs> uh, but if I got that wrong and that was a bulldoze, then I'm pretty confident I'd actually lose this match from here, even though right. we resist those licks. But yeah, there we go. Take it out with a shield here. Match to a Gliscor is now causing us more problems than it did last no. match. Uh, look at this, there's wing attacks. Uh, ouchies. Ooh, and he caught on the Munchlax. I'm quite surprised at the swap there. Like, he's gonna... Everything's neutral. So, Rocks and Slides are neutral, Power Whip's are neutral. And now we're coming into, like, one of those hard, sort of, counter matchups. Now, this time, this has to be Bulldoze, because he's not gonna get two Body Slams, so... I think I got this count right, Jiggly. <laughs> yeah, I think that that was that was a big mistake getting the Gliscor out first. I think he needed to make you swap first if uh, if he was gonna have any hope here. Because yeah, that, that just lines up up the pseudo once again to do bad bad things. <laughs> pseudo winner doing bad bad things to you in the night. <laughs> With that, with that big old grin on its face. Don't never trust the pseudo. So this is interesting though, because now we can no shield this power whip rock slide. Hope we hope it KOs us, right. and we can get the extra energy we need on this skunk tank to hopefully then take out the um, Gliscor in the back. Because it really, I mean, it can take a crunch, but like you don't want to. 
and even if he throws an earth, like he has to bait and and land a bait because he, he's not going to get to all of these earthquakes. He's, like, so he gets the earthquake, but then we're still on even shields. We're a little bit ahead. Like he can't get to two earthquakes to, or even two night slashes really to take us out before we get to two rock slides here. Um, it's going to be close, but I, I think we're going to get there just on fast move damage. Yeah, I mean, I guess the only the only situation where I would feel like I would would swap out a Gliscor that I led with would be if I really felt like it had a chance to get some momentum going with boost in the back because, I mean, the whole point to me of leading a Gliscor is just giving yourself that chance to just steamroll a team from the front if you catch an okay matchup. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and now I think on this one I, I do bring in the Talonflame because we've won 2-0. So we've, we've swept this tournament 4-0, which is always nice. <laughs> um, so I think in this last match, I hope I bring in the Talonflame because I'm like, no way they're bringing in that Raichu. Talonflame looks reasonably good everywhere else. Hey! Oh! oh. <laughs> in the right you spot. But the thing is, Tangrowth's got those, um, those rock slides. So, like, I'd die. Uh, even though it's not stab, I'm pretty sure a rock slide from a Tangrowth kills instantly. And <laughs> now this is interesting because we're down a shield now. So we're, we're going to see. You're going to see this is what you wanted to see, Jiggly, after that first match. How much does Flame Charge do to Sudo? There we go. Day? Yeah. See, that's. You got to. You can't respect that first Flame Charge unless you are a, a Grass Man or something that's going to just melt. All right, we are all finished <laughs> on uh, the Nivlees. <laughs> <laughs> a very clear, very clear here message from Little Trotter here. He's finished his Nivlees. He can go back to the Wiggles. <laughs> 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 all right, so I think we can no shield this now and then just farm this thing down with our bird. Or we're going to go Skunk Tank. Oh, we go Skunk Tank, get some energy, and out comes that Gliscor again. Ooh, hmm. ooh, interesting play. So Earthquake doesn't do that much. Night Slash doesn't do that much either here. Right. And we can just start beefing ourselves up and Brave Bird, a boosted Brave Bird, <laughs> is, is, is going to do a lot, right, to anything. It beats anything almost. Anything, yeah. and then there's Tan Growth in the oh. back. Wow. So that is the tournament wrapped up. We did get the 4 nil sweep. Lots of yeah. fun. And, I mean, I, th this I'm not saying this triple gar grass, oh, sorry, triple rock or stone team is the be-all and end-all because there's plenty of, like, we lost plenty of matches today. There's plenty of things that counter it. But it was fun as all hell to play. I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and was there anything that you were afraid to see going in that you didn't end up seeing that, counter uses pose a problem <laughs> yeah just yeah how did you not you didn't face any hitmon chans yeah you didn't face what what else is there there were there's Blaz blaziken's oh. even bigger because the grass yeah, blaziken, sure. so um that's the main reason keeping the talon flame and the hypno in the team is to have fighter counters just there so there's two clear fighting counters obviously talon flame is not a great counter for hitmon top because of Stone Edge being just devastating. Um, even it's not a great Blazing Encounter, but other fighters it does well against. So, yeah. Right. So Lucar Lucario would would wreck your team aside from Talonflame as well. And... Uh, yeah, you're actually surprising. Um, like, if you can get into a situation where Sudo is slightly ahead, the counters are super effective right. both ways. Uh, power up punches, yeah, yeah. Obviously, from a lead scenario, it's not great, but yeah. In my last video, right. if you go back and watch, there's a few times where Sudo would, um, yeah, it has enough of a health advantage to take out, <laughs> take out a um, Lucario, which is which is kind of surprising. But you have to have I'm an advantage. Sure. I'm not sure if you sold me on the triple rock, but you definitely sold me on the Sudo Wudo. I feel like uh, like that's a, a pretty good play in this current meta that we have. We'll yeah. See if things shift. Yeah, you got to see. But the thing is, the the good thing about I like about Sudowoodo is 
no one is bringing double fighting into this cup when Talonflame and Hypno are like the two most frequently right. used by far Pokemon. And a lot of people are taking a Drift Bloom, a Gliscor, um, you know, in, in that sort of purple slot. So there's not a whole great use for fighters. Definitely not running double fighting, is it? So as long as you've got other things that can counter the fighters, Pseudo Widow, yeah, it, it, it's a great, great pick. Does need to be careful of grass and water, though. Um, as we saw, he does not like taking any sort of charge move. He's not the bulkiest Pokemon. Um, but yeah, he, he can take stuff out. It's great. I really enjoyed Pseudo. And I don't think I'll be running a team this month without a Pseudo Widow in it. So if you're facing me, <laughs> that, expect Pseudo. <laughs> Just expect it. Expect it every time. Mm-hmm. I don't know if in every battle, but expect it to, to be in my team. <laughs> expect it to be in the team. I'm expecting it every time, but that's okay. We can we can set them up. Well, you you can play the long game. You can come to to one of my Wednesday tourneys and and not run the pseudo and make me look a fool. Yeah, yeah. I'll just call in sick for work that day. Make sure <laughs> <laughs> make make sure we're available because that's a Thursday in Australia. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, excellent. So thanks, Jiggly. Thanks heaps for coming out and uh, going over, having a bit of fun going through the Prismatic Cup. My team. Anyway, for this month, um, we've actually, in Australia, we've just started our Colossal Cup, which was another seven-rounder that we've managed to get, and um, I'm considering it uh, an honorific that PvP Steve himself has copied my team, because he, uh, he'd, <laughs> oh. he'd seen this team, and he's actually running the same team. So, Steve, uh, this video is for you. hope you can um, watch watch a couple, <laughs> and learn a couple of tips about the pseudos and the other grass users, uh, but remember, don't always run them. <laughs> There's other things to use in your team, too. Uh, that's great. So anyway, I'll shout out a uh, link to Jiggly Dad's Twitch channel below. Make sure you guys are following Jiggly Dad on Twitch. He does not YouTube. And he... Do you, you, you're a fair big Twitter kind of guy, aren't you? Uh, I... Twitter is, I like to say Twitter is evil, but yeah, I use it. You can follow me over on the Twitter. I put it, I put everything up there, but I don't endorse it. <laughs> <laughs> A necessary evil, is it? Yes. Excellent. All right. Thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed the tournament and um, we'll see you next time we do some battles and check out Jiggly Dad. Heaps of fun. Bell Sprouts, all the information you need. Good night.